Happy Wednesday, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotional. We've finished our Lenten series. Uh, Happy Easter. He is risen. And now we're going to come back to the uh, C.S. Lewis devotional that I was using earlier. Um, and this week's theme is caution. Lewis writes, I say my prayers. I read a book of devotion. I prepare for or receive the sacrament. But while I do these things, there is, so to speak, a voice inside me that urges caution. It tells me to be careful, to keep my head, not to go too far, not to burn my boats. I come into the presence of God with a great fear, lest anything should happen to me within that presence, which will prove too intolerably inconvenient when I've come out again into my ordinary life. I don't want to be carried away into any resolution which I shall afterwards regret, for I know I shall be feeling quite different after breakfast. I don't want anything to happen to me at the altar, which will run up too big a bill to pay then. I wonder if you can relate to that. I, I think this is uh, honestly kind of an amusing thought, um, but something that probably most of us have had as well, that um, there are moments in our spiritual life when we feel, we feel empowered and encouraged and, and very strong and we feel close to God and we feel like we can do anything we can commit anything we can accomplish whatever God asks of us and in those moments we might even make promises that we're going to be faithful we're going to uh, we're, we're going to give up this sin or we're going to uh, commit this sort of uh, this resource and um, and we say these things because in the moment we really feel that we're capable of this. And then the moment passes and we realize we, we can't cash that check. We, we can't back that up. And I think you know, Lewis points out that um, there is, even in that moment sometimes, a voice in the back of our head that says, uh, hold on, you need to you know, hold back a little bit, keep something back. Don't go too far. Later on in, in The Weight of Glory, Lewis will clarify that that voice is the voice of sin. It's the voice of temptation. That there's this, um, there's this desire on the part of Satan to teach us to be moderate. That, that we should be sensible and rational and and always in control and what God actually wants of us is abandonment is what might look like recklessness that we're willing to give up everything and to turn over everything and to to sell out completely to give our whole hearts and lives and selves to God that's hard to do that's scary and it's something that we only tend to want to do when we're feeling particularly good, when we're having that spiritual high moment. But I wonder if there are ways that we could build up the strength to do that more regularly. If there are ways we could, uh, you know, take a, a step a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further every day into that place that makes us uncomfortable. Um, one of the other images Lewis uses is, is swimming or going out into the ocean where you're, you're kicking around in the, in the waves by the shore. No risk there. Once you actually get out beyond where your feet can stand on the, on the sand on solid ground, that's where you have to swim and you have to trust. God is calling us to that. God desires of us to get out beyond where we feel safe and beyond where we feel comfortable and to commit more than we think we are capable of. And if we fail sometimes to come back to him and to ask forgiveness and to know that we're gonna be able to try again. Saints, I pray that this week you will move out of your comfort zone, that you will Seek to give more of yourself to God. That is your devotional for this week, and I hope it's helpful. I hope that, uh, hope that you're doing well, and uh, talk to you.
talk to you again soon. God bless y'all. Take care.